Yo, what's up guys? Spiderbot here. We got Transit Secrets for Black Ops 2 Zombies. We're taking a look at uh, Rustman Quotes one last time. This is our third and final video. We're going to be taking a look at some of the specifics. Maybe get a bit of a background here on Rustman. Who he likes and who he really dislikes in this group. And uh, maybe a funny quote or two. Alright, let's go. Thank you for riding junk-ass bus lines. Have a fucking day. I just had to throw that one in there. I mean, come on, have a fucking day, really? <laughs> okay, Russ, man. Watch out, Stewie! All right, so as we've mentioned before when going through Misty and Marlton's quotes, uh, Misty and Marlton have a thing going on. They're sort of paired up within the group. And we have Stewie and Russman, it looks like, paired up in the group. And, and from Russman's perspective, you know, it's not like he's affectionate for Stewie or whatever. I mean, it's more of a camaraderie thing, and there are a bunch of quotes that sort of fit in with that. Knife it, Stu! Knife it! So it appears that not only is Russman looking out for Stewie, but he's also encouraging him. Aw, isn't that sweet? What's that? I heard something. Alright, so along the lines of the other videos for the quotations that we posted, if any of you know exactly where Russman would say this, I mean, I would expect probably maybe in the cornfield, maybe in Nocturne Toten, not sure. I don't think it's a really significant quote, but it just bothers me that I really can't identify a location for it. Devil Box runs a sale? Believe it when I see it. And uh, this is another quote that we've seen from all the characters thus far referencing Fire Sale. And hopefully when Die Rise comes out, they'll actually incorporate Fire Sale. Again, Nuketown Zombies uh, did have it, but we didn't have our usual characters in Nuketown Zombies. Boy. I say boy. You're about as sharp as a bowling ball. All right, so obviously Russman has a dislike for Marlton, and we see it across a number of quotes. And going back to Marlton, we know Marlton has a dislike for Russ. So not only do we see a distinct split in the group from a camaraderie perspective, but we also see it from what appears to be a hatred perspective. So Marlton and Misty together, Russman and Stu together, and then we have... Misty hating Stu, and I'm sure Stu's going to be hating Misty, and then we have Russ versus Marlton, Marlton versus Russ, so it's just interesting how it's how the groups split up like that. Looking forward to die rides as well, I mean, if it is a possibility that Marlton is turned, I wonder if Russman actually has something to do with it. Go back to what we discussed at Bus Depot at that location where you have the bus stop, but if you read it in reverse, you have Stop Russ because... The B is actually blotted out with blood, and it looks like an R. I think it would just be really interesting if that occurred in Die Rise, I mean, if Marlton was turned and, and Russ had something to do with it. I don't know. We'll see. We got uh, just over two weeks to go before Die Rise releases on Xbox 360. Yeah. Lucky ducky. Now go sucky fucky. And this is just another funny one I threw in there, and I'm sure he probably says that when he picks up the jet gun, because that's the only gun that would actually suck and if you remember from uh ascension when we first got introduced was it ascension or we actually had the uh, thunder gun on kino um when we got introduced to that and rick toffin's one comment was oh if i designed this i would make it suck instead of blow well maybe uh rick toffin and obviously it's tied in to rick toffin in transit because he wants you to build the jet gun and the jet gun does in fact suck instead of blow like the thunder gun Interesting, Rick Toffin, interesting. I guess them things hate liars too! Alright, so I wanted to talk about this one a little bit, and I think he's referring here, and there, there are a couple like this, and I think I, I actually have another quote, but I think he's referring to Marlton, and possibly when Marlton gets down. Now, I was reading over the Activision forums, and there were some theories being thrown out, that uh, perhaps some of these quotations with reference to Marlton dying had to do with a, you know an extension to the transit Easter egg. So at the end, maybe Marlton dies, and and I think that has also come out due to Die Rise and looking at Marlton, thinking that possibly he has been turned again. Uh, but I think it it refers more to the fact that when Marlton gets downed that he basically wants Marlton to die. Now, the liar thing is also interesting to me. I mean, why is he calling him a liar? What is Marlton lying about? What does Russman know that we're not getting a clear picture of that would relate to Marlton lying about something? 
I honestly hope that when Die Rise releases that we'll actually get answers to some of these questions, not only from the Easter egg perspective, but also you know, with reference to the way the uh, characters interact and why some of these guys hate each other and what exactly is Marlton lying about. Hope it pulls out your lying tongue, boy! And this is just another reference to lying by Marlton. So it's quite significant. I mean, there are a number of quotes here, at least two. I think there was possibly one or two more. So it's kind of a theme that runs through Russman's quotes. So let's, again, let's hope that the story develops in Die Rise. Something fishy going on here. Okay, so I think this one... Russman actually says when he's at the bank, and there are a couple of quotes that go with the bank, and again, we've seen the same sort of quotes from all the characters. All the characters have some sort of relationship to the bank, or they've been there before, they have deja vu, or whatever. There's something with the bank or the bank vault underneath that is triggering some sort of memory, but they just can't, you know, they can't place it. I've got a funny feeling about this place. And again, this is another one, and I, I believe this is also quoted at the bank. I hate these quiet moments. Too much time to think about how I messed up my life. So this quote is uh, probably one of the best quotes for giving us some sort of background on Russman. So we know he's not highly educated. He appears to be uh, homeless, possibly. And obviously something he did, uh, he screwed up his life in some fashion. We just don't know, we just don't know how. Tell me I don't hear no demon dogs. Alright, just a, another reference to the Hellhounds, which uh, don't appear on transit at all. I wouldn't mind having them back, how about you guys? I mean, it's a setting on survival, but let's bring the Hellhounds back on, on regular zombies. On, the, on not transit, but uh, on die rides. I, I don't know. Or something different, I don't know. Hellhounds are cool. Bank full of money, no place to spend it. Or... Is there? This is our uh, final quote. It kind of interested me. I'm, I'm sure he probably just says it in passing if he's putting money in the bank. Uh, but it, it, it just... The way he says it... Number one, does he only say this when you've maxed out the bank at 250,000 points for him? I'm sure not. I'm sure he just says it. But the way he says, or is there, just kind of signals to me. I mean, what else could you spend money on? But uh, I really, I don't think there's a whole lot to it. I think he, maybe he's just referencing, you know, like the wall weapons or the box, the weapon box or perks or whatever. It's just... I, I, <laughs> I don't like the way he says it. I don't. I don't know. Have you guys ever heard him say that? I know I, I haven't ever heard him say this, um, but I would imagine, again, just depositing money in the bank regularly, I think he would maybe say this at random. Let me know if you guys know and reference uh, quote number 15. All right, guys, that is it for Russman. We've completed three out of the four characters. I think I've saved the best one for last because Stu, I mean, not only does, is he the only one that can hear Richthofen, he does say some pretty interesting things that uh, that I want to go over. So I think his will be the most interesting, aside from Richthofen. I mean, Richthofen's the real one that we wanted to save for last. And uh, really, I wanted to do all the characters, including Maxis, first before jumping to Richthofen and we'd have as much background going into it as we could have possibly have. So hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, let me know what you think about any of the comments or Russman in general. Really looking forward to Die Rise. Can't wait. Oh, man. Hope you enjoyed. I'm Spider, and I'm out.